One of life's biggest paradoxes is water-related. Water is life and water is death. Water supports life and water takes away life. Whereas most lives depend on water, most others too are lost through infections from waterborne diseases. Various disease vectors live and breed in water bodies where they execute some stages of their life cycles. One of such diseases is schistosomiasis, commonly known as bilharzia, a disease which manifests itself as blood in victims' urine or feces. This disease is also commonly associated with children who may have to come into contact with infected water bodies and with poor and impoverished communities as well. This is the parasite that uh, male and female, male and female, this is the male, the female is the big one, and they live either in your intestines or in your close to the bladder. They share uh, eggs, and what the end result is that you have bilharzia, which uh, you start urinating blood and all that. Now, this we found out, uh, just in case you don't know, it's not like malaria where quickly, uh, where quickly, you know, if you have uh, infection, you develop something or you may die. But this is chronic. It stays with you for a long time. In this documentary, we travel to the Gori communities of the Bongo district of Ghana, where the St. Andrew's Clinics for Children, Stark, a Scottish charity through its local partner, Stark Ghana, is empowering the local people to eliminate the incidence of Bilhazia from the communities. We chose Bongo District as our first operational site. And the idea is for us to assess the disease burden, look, look at the disease burden of children, and then also uh, implement treatment and control programs so that uh, over, over a period of time, we we'll hope that most of these diseases will be a thing of the past. The Bongo District occupies about 450,000 square kilometers of Ghana, and is home to about 78,000 people. With a per capita income of about 264 Ghana cities, the Bongo district ranks as one of the poorest districts in the country. In this community is located a man-made dam, the VEA Irrigation Dam, which was purposely built to provide irrigation water for farming and drinking. Various canals have been constructed to transport water to the communities in the Gori area to facilitate agricultural activities. The Via Irrigation Dam and its canals have been of immense help to the farmers in this community. We use water to farm and produce tomatoes, beans, onion, rice and bambara beans. We use the irrigation water to farm all year round to get more money to take care of our children and families. This water transporting system has become a source of Bilhazia infection that is affecting members of the communities. Bilhazia is a water vector-borne disease which manifests itself as blood in urine or feces of victims. Part of the life cycle of the disease is in water bodies, especially in areas of still waters where they can hide and breed from their intermediary hosts. In the snails, they develop into different stages. And uh, when they are matured, they, they, uh, what do you call the Secaria, that's the active, effective part, are released in hundreds of thousands into the water. And they swim actively in the water. So anybody who comes to have contact with the water, either by swimming, just standing to wash, 
or whatever is becomes a, a risk. This carrier will attach the skin when you do a minute or second, they will penetrate into the skin. So we are going to Mr. Kote, a tax technician, explains the life cycle and mode of Bilhazia transmission to the community volunteers. These are the ones that specifically transmit the, 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 the Bilhazia. Uh, these are the, 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 the ones that he showed you, that the, when you urinate into the water, then the, the, the eggs will, will break. When they break, those small worms will go and enter this snail. They will stay in this snail for some time, and then this snail will release them into the water. Yeah. When they release them into the water, then you are likely to have the infection when you go into the water. So these are the particular snails that they shared around this place. So when you clear the, the, the river banks and the water is clear, these snails will not be there. The prevalence rate of Bilhazia when the Stag Ghana began this program to eliminate the disease in 2008 was around 83%. By the year 2010, the disease's prevalence rate had plummeted to 5.5% among school-going children, while that among non-school-going children had dropped to 36%. The challenge of eliminating the disease from the district is exacerbated by its reintroduction by non-school children who are at most risk to the disease due to their frequent contact with infected water bodies. Most of the Bilhazia cases in the district end up through the doors of the Bongo Hospital where they are presented to Dr. William Gudu who confirms or otherwise and prescribes treatment for positive cases. He explains his observations so far in his short time of stay at this post. Hematuria is one of the common presentations, especially in the children and in a few adults. We see quite a number of them at the OPD and we make the effort to do the urinalysis. And quite a number of them comes out as a confirmed case of schistosomiasis, both the urinary and then the intestinal schist. Um, what we usually do is we put them on the normal dosage of praziquanta, that's the 40 mg per kilogram body weight, and let them come later for review. One of Stark's goals is to improve children's health through empowering local communities. Such strategy enables the local communities to claim some kind of ownership in decision-making on behavioral change processes. For this reason, Stark Ghana, in engaging with the Bungo district, sought audience with government, chiefs and people of the Gori community. The people of Gori are well known for their colorful ceremonies. This project presented itself for yet another colorful deba from the people of Gori to listen to what message Stag Ghana had brought to them. There was a colorful deba organized by the chiefs and people of the Gori community to receive personnel of Stag Ghana, in which various tools to help clear weeds in the various canals of the VEA irrigation dam were donated to the community. It's important that uh, we tackle this Belhazia problem. We can't say that we we'll stop the canal, no. But there's, there are certain things that we can do, especially the community members can do, the school children can do, so that we stop transmission of uh, uh, Belhazia. We will help you set up some science club. So when you cleaned up the place, the children will regularly go and look for snails. And when they see snails, they will inform the community and the community will move in and clean the place so that ultimately you will not have the snails they have come to stay and we, are, we intend to move our activities expand on our activities to cover the whole of Bongo district in the near future <laughs> Hey, what's up?
The head chief of the Gori traditional area, Naba Gombila Belenue, receiving the items was full of praise to Stag Ghana for their good intentions and for choosing <laughs> to work with the people of Gori traditional yeah. area. School children are important stakeholders in this project. Therefore, Stark Ghana aims to empower the school children themselves to eliminate the incidence of Bilhazia from the district. To this end, Stark Ghana has formed science clubs in various schools of the district to monitor the level of Bilhazia parasites in the various canals to trigger weed clearing to eliminate the hideouts of the intermediary hosts of the Bilhazia parasites from the canals. As part of the routine process of engaging with the school children, samples of blood, urine and stools were taken from them to monitor the prevalence rate of the disease. Bilhazia has been successfully eliminated in many countries through sustainable behavioral changes. The people of Gori may not be exceptional to this process. Stark Ghana is empowering the local people to clear weeds that are growing in and alongside the VEA irrigation canals to eliminate the breeding and hiding places of the intermediary hosts of the Bilhazia parasites. Supported by the work of the school science clubs to monitor the parasite level in the canals, the people themselves are being encouraged to organize periodic weed clearing of the canals to eliminate the parasites from the canals. The process of self-help is made easier by motivation and understanding of the nature of the disease and its transmission process to the people of the communities. Together with support from the district assembly, Stark Ghana hopes to empower the Gori community to make the infection from Bilhazia in the communities a historic event, thereby improving child health in the Bongo district. We have come today to train how to scare a snake disease. And we are finished cleaning the grass and then the weeds outside. And we wait to come here every two weeks to make the weeding and then see how best we can scare from this next disease. I think it is the duty of all of us, especially those of us who live around marshy places and riverine areas, to also make sure that we clean those places constantly as they have recommended. But uh, as for those already in the target area, we hope that the success story of that one will be replicated throughout the districts and even beyond. If these goals are to be achieved in the Gori area, the water body provided by the VEA irrigation dam and the various canals could become a source of life only, negating the parasite of water being life and water being a source of death. The future is promising for Stark Ghana's work with the Gori community to eradicate Bilhazia from the community. With the community having interest and stake in the project, brings sustainability to the process of behavioral change. We'll be working in Bongo until at least we have shown significantly that the diseases that affect children can be reduced and for it to be an example for the rest of the districts which, has, which will have similar problems to adapt. Nah, 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 nah.